Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here. Um, listen, um, I don't know why our uh, prophecy pastors are not uh, telling all the events that um, happened this past week. You know, now we're in a new week, okay? Um, Sunday's the first day of the week, okay? Um, I'm going to bring you a prophecy update, okay? These are facts. These are truth. I've done my research, okay? And I'm going to try to go down through it as quickly as possible, but there's going to be some times whenever I get into um, some certain things that I'm going to, you know, give a little more insight on it as far as the articles that I've read and things of that nature, okay? Yeah, I'm coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas, Texas girl in a Kansas state of mind, <laughs> ready for Beulah land, amen, come Lord Jesus, come. Okay, first off, breaking news, it's about 10.45 p.m. Um, Sunday night, okay, here, Central Standard Time, okay, I know it's kind of late, but I had to wait for... You know, husband goes to sleep, stuff to die down, you know, and gather all my noodles together. See that? There's your prophecy update. Amen? Okay, here we go. First off, breaking news just in the last hour or so. Okay, in Guatemala, okay, now this actually happened earlier, the volcano in Guatemala. It's called a... Uh, uh, De Fuego volcano, it erupted, okay, this happened hours ago, okay, um, today, okay, there are six dead, okay, 20 injured, six dead from lava, okay, fire, okay, that right there is prophetic. Okay, but the breaking part is just like here in the last, I guess, hour or two, something like that. Um, they had a 5.8 earthquake. Okay, it's spewing out lava. Okay, it has erupted. Okay, let's go to Joel chapter 2, verse uh, 30. I will cause wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Okay? Blood, six dead so far. Okay? 20 injured. Okay? The blood mixed with the fire and the smoke. Okay? Prophetic. Okay. Just in the last week, okay, we're talking about, you know, Israel right now. Um, there were uh, hundreds, hundreds of grapevines that were destroyed, set on fire, hundreds of them, okay? Hundreds. Uh, then... Uh, there are fires, fires burning in, I guess, the southern portion of Israel, okay, uh, where their crops are, uh, between six and seven thousand acres have burned already, wheat fields, okay, these are facts, <laughs> This has been happening this week. The blazes are so horrific, the firefighters have been working nonstop to try to get these fires under control. And, you know, I'm sure the heat is not helping. I understand it's been very hot there. Um, very little rain, except the floods that they had, the massive floods weeks back that they had, okay? Um... But they're saying that they were caused from these incendiary kites that Gaza, uh, Hamas, and the Palestinian, Palestinian, Philistine people, you know how I am. Sorry, I'm kind of worked up, but, you know, I'm, I'm just a little perturbed about these prophecy updates. So, here I am coming to you from my washroom, okay? 
<laughs> Unreal. Okay. Um, now, between May 29th, okay, it was um, a Tuesday, and May 30th was Wednesday, just this last week, okay, because it's June 3rd right now, through June 2nd, okay, I went and counted my red alert sirens, you know, the red code siren alerts that sounded, meaning that there was fire coming, you know, mortar shells, whatever was coming, you know, across the border, okay, from Gaza into Israel. Some hit, Iron Dome intercepted many, but I counted s some 77 red code alerts from May 29th through yesterday, Saturday, June the 2nd. 77, okay? Thousands were running to their bunkers every single time these were being sounded, okay? Now, June the 5th, this coming Tuesday, in two days from now, um, is the 51st anniversary of the Six-Day War, okay? In 1967, when the Jewish people took back Jerusalem, okay? It is also Nakba Day, which is in, you know, Muslim, Islam, um, which means Catastrophe Day, because they think it's a catastrophe, you know, that they were booted out of the land, okay, because they were booted out of the land, okay, and th that was even prophetic, okay, you know, the Lord, you know, the land belongs to the Jewish people, and yet here we're sitting, they have already split Jerusalem, you know, East Jerusalem is mainly, mainly Philistine people, Arab people, okay? And Prime Minister Netanyahu this week, okay, he said that they were going to give like $54 million to the eastern portion of Jerusalem to, uh, you know, make it better for them on that side, okay? It's unreal. It really is. Um, but anyway, June 5th, okay, Tuesday, is supposed to be this day. And, uh, you know, uh, Ramadan is supposed to be closing down, I believe it's uh, June the 15th. We've got this fake peace summit, you know, going on with North Korea. North Korea has been meeting up with um, Sergei uh, Lavrov of Russia, uh, been talking with uh, China, um, has now been invited to Damascus to talk with Iran and Assad of Syria, okay? They've been summoned there, okay? Unreal. It really is unreal. Um... But there are supposed to be tens of thousands of Philistine people on their march to return. It's supposed to happen Tuesday, June 5th, okay? So if we've got tens of thousands, you know, coming up against the borders, okay? It's not looking good, y'all. It is not looking good at all. The tribulation is going to be horrific, and I praise the Lord Jesus Christ that we're not going to be here for it. We're about to get snatched up out of here. Yes, we are. Believe it. Believe it. Count on it. <laughs> Cry out. That's all I've been doing for days now, it seems like. Maybe weeks. I don't, I don't know. 
every day I wake up, I'm like, really, we're still here? <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Um, so then today, you know, New York City, okay? Tens of thousands of people marched down uh, Fifth Avenue. Um, you know, Israel Day, 70th year celebrations, you know, celebrating, celebrating, you know. It's just, it's so surreal, y'all. It really is. You know, I love Israel. I love the Jewish people with all my heart. I have <laughs> wept bitter tears, you know, and cried out to the Lord, you know, please forgive them. You know, please, Lord Jesus, you know, please, you know, but this is his will. These are his people. Okay, in about three and a half years from now, they will know who he is. Okay, yes, they will. The Lord will unveil their eyes, and yes, they will know. Okay, um, but all this celebration, Brazilians even uh, marched in the tens of thousands in Brazil. Brazilians for Jesus, they marched for Jesus. You know, I don't know what their culture is. I don't know if this was, you know, I don't know. <laughs> all this unity and peace and togetherness and we're all going to love on everybody and everybody prays to the same God. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. I know there's a lot of uh, Catholics in Brazil. Um, but who knows, you know. Not part of this world. Praise the Lord. Um, let's see. What else was it? Um, oh, okay. Get this. Um, a pro-Palestinian Jewish group. Okay. They want to hold uh, some sort of a summer... Uh, uh, event, okay, to teach, to teach the Palestinian people, you know, about their joint heritage, I guess you would say. But the kicker was, they were all wearing t-shirts. Guess what the t-shirt said on it? Talk about prophetic. I just, I had to look at it. I had to read them. I blew up the picture just to read it. It said, we are the generation. Yes, we are. We are the generation. You got that right. We are the generation. Yes, we are. We are the fig tree generation. We are the fig tree generation, okay? Those who saw Israel become a nation, <laughs> you know, in 1948, okay? Here we are, 2018, 70 years later, 70th week of Daniel, time of Jacob's trouble, knocking, screaming at the door, okay? Move along. That was just amazing, okay? I read another article. Now I can't find it. You know, I, ha I have several different news sources I go to. Okay, y'all know that. I got Ynet. I got um, Haratz. Uh, I've got Haratz Shuva. I've got Shiva. However you say Haratz Shiva. Um, just several. Okay, but there was this one article. We're talking about AI, artificial intelligence, the abomination that's already been set up to be worshipped, okay? Um, they had a picture of the android Alexa, and they started today, Sunday. It goes through Thursday, okay? Um, uh, these tech wizards, that's why I'm going to call them wizards, because it's all sorcery, it's abominable, and we're not having any part of it. And thank God we're not going to be here. But anyway, um, talking about how 
they're going to make the androids more lifelike, more human, um, to, to, to give it empathy, okay? To be able to care for the sick so you don't have to. Um, to be able to reason, you know, and they even showed a picture of Alexa there looking like she was in tears. It's like, really, y'all? Really? Oh, I just can't hardly stand it anymore, y'all. Seriously, I just want to go home, and I know y'all feel the same exact way. But, um, it was just insane. Um, fourth day in Jordan, okay? Jordan, right there, by Israel, right there, okay? Fourth day, a uh, very aggressive, thousands, thousands have been marching in protest. It seems that King Abdullah, Abdullah II of Jordan, um, back in, I think, it was 2014 or 2016, I'm not sure. Um, don't remember. You know, didn't write that portion down. I'm just kind of going off memory. So forgive me, Lord Jesus, if I get it wrong. But I, I believe it was in 2016. Um, they borrowed something like $753 million. Now, I thought the king was like buku rich. Okay. And I thought his country was just like all that in a nutshell. Guess not. Because they borrowed $753 million from the International Monetary Fund. Okay? The IMF. Okay? They're shysters. You know? You don't pay. This is the same stuff that happened to Greece. The same stuff that's going to end up happening here. You know, um, they, uh, they'll uh, lend you the money and the interest rates are so high that you can't pay them back. Okay? Well, they've got super high inflation there. They want to raise the people's taxes. And the people are livid about it. Like, War is probably going to erupt. Now, Israel's getting a little worried about that, okay, with good reason, okay? We got, you know, tens of thousands that are supposed to be marching, you know. These Jordanians, you know, they've been protesting all this stuff, too, as far as Trump declaring Jerusalem the capital, the eternal capital, you know, of uh, Israel, okay? They've been having protests there, too. You know, nobody's really talking about all this, you know, but I'm getting it out there, you know, and, you know, even, you know, if somebody comes across this video after the rapture happens, you know, I pray that, you know, when they see that all these people have disappeared all over the earth, you know, maybe somebody will come across this. Please give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ immediately. You've been left behind. You left. You've been left behind. Ask Him to come into your heart. Be your Lord and Savior. And uh, do it ASAP. Anyway, back. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, you know, this is your prophecy update, okay? Um, now, King Abdullah Abdullah II of Jordan, he has, he's not happy with his prime minister, and he has summoned him <laughs> to his domain, his castle, whatever, wherever he's at. Um, and there's speculation that he's going to be fired, okay, for, you know, all these protests and stuff, which, 
you know, they don't put up with that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, there's no telling what's fixing to happen to these people or if they're just going to be part of the flooding to Jerusalem on Tuesday, you know. It's just, it's a mess, y'all. And Prime Minister Netanyahu, he is on his way now on his Europe tour, okay? He's going to be going. Uh, I don't know where he's going first or anything like that. Don't remember. Just know, oh, I think he's going to Germany first, but don't get me, you know, don't quote me on that. Um but he's going to be going to Germany to see Angela Merkel, okay? He's also going to be going to France to visit with Emmanuel Macron, okay? And he's also going to be going to the United Kingdom. So I guess he'll be going to see Theresa May to talk to them about pulling out of the insatiable, insane, Obamanite nuclear deal with Iran, okay? Um, you know, it sure seems to me like, you know, Prime Minister Netanyahu, you know, he's, he's going about this international, internationalizing of Jerusalem. He's going along with it, y'all. You know, I, you know, it's just like Jesus said it would be, you know. You know, and honestly, I, I just can't believe we're still living here, you know, but the Lord is so gracious. You know, it's not his will that any should perish, but all would come to him, okay? Um... Also, let's see, um, we talked about that. Oh, yeah, and Hawaii's Big Island, okay? I don't know if y'all have seen the drone footage that's been put out the last day or two. Um, it looks like hell is rising. That's exactly what it looks like, you know, and it just blows my mind. That these people, all of these people, have not been evacuated. Okay? You know? And just about every time I listen to one of these um, commentators from Hawaii, they're always talking about Pele. Let me tell you about it. Let me refresh your memory if you didn't know. Pele is, I guess, a Hindu goddess of lava flow and volcanic eruption. An abomination before the Lord. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. No false god idol worship. Repent. Give your lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. Period. Okay. I'm on, I'm on fire tonight. I tell you what. Okay, and then to top it all off, the IDF, Israeli Defense Force, they put out Uh, an alert drill, not, you know, on the siren thing. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, they said that the IAF, okay, starting today, Sunday, June 3rd, through June, I see, Tuesday's the 5th, 6th, the 7th, June the 7th through Thursday, June 7th, okay, that the IAF will be holding um, drills at all of their bases in Israel, okay, and that there would be loud explosions, but it's just a drill, 
There would be sirens. There would be a lot of air back and forth. But don't worry anybody. It's just a drill. While all this Nakba <laughs> catastrophe day stuff is going on on Tuesday the 5th, okay? And with the 77 in the last week, the 77 red coat alerts and thousands fleeing to their bunkers and stuff. What is happening, y'all? Seriously, what is happening? Why would the IAF say they're going to do drills? Okay? You know, you're going to hear loud explosions and alerts and sirens and stuff, but don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm shaking my head. Shaking my head. <laughs> okay. We're going to wrap that up. There's your prophecy alert. Okay. I love you guys. Keep looking up. You know, it's just so surreal. I just want to go home. And I know y'all do too. I'm tired of all this wickedness. I'm tired of all this deception. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of their fake drills. And I'm not just talking about Israel. It's happening everywhere. Okay? To install fear in the hearts of the people. We are not going to fear. We're God's people. Jesus said he would come for us when we began to see all these things. Stand straight. Lift up thy head. For your redemption draweth nigh. I pray this was a blessing to you, my brothers and sisters, and we'll see how long it takes for me to upload this, baby. Okay? And, God willing, get up and talk to you tomorrow. Either way, we'll be talking tomorrow. Amen? Maranatha, I love you guys. Stand strong in the faith. Don't look back. Don't look down. Because we're about to go up. Bye.